Welcome to this learning series. We're going to teach you how to calculate your federal withholding tax using your Form W-4 and the 2024 Publication 15T, pages 56 and page 57 that can be found on the IRS website. Links will be in the description below. As we work through this problem very quickly, we're going to read Kanye's situation. He lives and works in Texas and has a gross pay of $662 for the week. Kanye's year-to-date wages are $1,000 and he does not contribute to a 401k plan or participate in his company's Cafeteria 125. Kanye is paid weekly, so let's go ahead and calculate Kanye's net pay together. What we can see here is on his form W-4. We'll take a brief look at this. Step two is unchecked. Step three, the total amount here is zero. Step four, A and B is zero. And step four, C is $10 of the form W-4. We'll come back to this once we need it. We'll start with the actual form to complete, which is, um, page 56 of the publication 15T. Here we have 1A, enter the employee's total taxable wages this payroll period. We already learned that Kanye was paid $662. Enter the number of pay periods that uh, you have per year. So in a weekly payroll period, we have 52 weeks, so 52 pay periods. Enter the amount from step 4a, we already read just a moment ago that that was zero. And then divide line 1c by the number on line 1b, which is zero. We're going to add lines 1a and 1b, which is 662. So 1a, 662 plus zero is 662. Be careful, make sure you read every line of these instructions. It's very easy to misread these and get ahead or behind. Enter the amount from step 4B. We already read earlier that that was zero dollars. And then we're gonna divide, divide line 1F by the number on line 1B. 1B is 52, 1F is zero, so we're gonna have zero once again. Then we're gonna subtract line 1G from line 1E. $662. Uh, minus zero six hundred sixty two dollars. Make sure I make that correction. Now on forward, this is where we're going to actually figure out the tentative withholding amount. Step two. Here we're going to read this very carefully. Find the row in the standard withholding rate schedule if the box in step two a form w4 is not checked or the form w4 step two checkbox withholding rate schedule if it has been checked remember we indicated that box was not checked of the percentage method table in this section in which the amount on the line 1h which is this amount 662 is at least the amount in column a but less than the amount in column B. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go to page 57 and well let's first rejoin the W-4. This employee married filing jointly and $662. So the standard withholding rate schedule use this at the box step to form W-4 is not checked which is what we have here. Married filing jointly. The amount was 662, so it is uh, the second row is fitting our situation. $662 is between 562 in column A and 1008 in column B. And asks us to enter column A of that row. So $562. Now it asks us to enter the amount from column C of that row. Column C of that row is zero dollars. Uh, 
then enter the percentage of the from column D of that row. Column D of this row is 10%. pretend I put 10% there and we're going to subtract line 2a from 1h so 2a minus 1h is 100 the percent here which I can't seem to put in here is 10% we'll put a filler up here just so we we'll know that really belongs down there then we're going to multiply the amount on line 2D by the percentage on 2C, which is $10. So $100 times 10% is 10. And then we're going to add lines 2B and 2E. So 2B was 0, 2E is 10, so $10. Take the amount from step three of the employees form W-4. There was zero indicated. So we'll come back here and also enter zero. Divide the amount on line 3A by the number of pay periods. Zero divided by 52 is zero. Always work that math out in your head so you get in the habit of doing that. Subtract line 3B from 2 F. So 10 minus 0 is 10. Figure the final withholding amount in step 4. Enter the additional amount to withhold from step 4C of the employee's form W-4. We noted $10. And then we're going to add lines 3C and 4A. This is the amount to withhold from the employee's wage at this pay period. So 10 plus 10 is $20. And withholding for Kanye's weekly pay is $20. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped you. Give me a like and subscribe.